Hello viewers, I am Dr. Rahul Reddy from Androcare Andrology Institute. Today we will be discussing about surgical procedures we need in case of obstruct or azospermia. So now we have various types of procedures for uh, in azospermia. So one is TISA, one is TSA, third one is micro TSA and fourth one is FNA mapping. And uh, if you are taking sperm from epididymis, then you have PISA and MISA. That means you just put a needle into the sperm tube and collect the sperms. So now many people they ask me, uh, doctor what is the difference between testicular biopsy, open testicular biopsy and TISA. So TISA means testicular sperm aspiration. So open testicular biopsy which was done in the olden days is just like any other surgery where we cut the testis, we take them to theatre, we cut the testis, we do a surgery and we take a small piece of testicular tissue and we send it to the pathology lab. So, but nowadays we are not doing that because it is a outdated procedure. So, what happens is see testicular tissue is different may be different in one area and see entire testicular tissue may not be same. So, what happens if you take tissue from one corner of the testis and it, it may not represent the entire testicular tissue. So, that is why the TISA procedure has come in. TISA procedure is a simple procedure where we give anesthesia to the testis. Generally, we apply a cream to the testis, most of the testis becomes numb. And then we take a small uh, needle. Uh, generally, how we take blood from the uh, veins, same way we take testicular tissue from various reasons. So, advantage with uh, TISA is this is not a surgery, this is only a aspiration procedure and like if you compare with testicular biopsy, in testicular biopsy you take uh, tissue from only one area. Here in TISA you can take uh, testicular sampling from multiple areas. So, generally we call them as testicular mapping biopsies that means you can actually map the testis or uh, it is also called as FNA mapping biopsy. You can actually divide the testis into various quadrant, various segments and you can name each and every segment like segment 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, 8. Generally, we can map testis into 12 quadrant and from each quadrant you can put a needle, take the tissue, send, send it separate to the lab. So, here what happens? You know which area of the testis you are having sperm. So, in but since FNA mapping is uh, quite expensive, generally we do uh, TISA procedure where we take sample from 3 areas of the testis. And this report generally comes after three, uh, 3 to 5 days based on the pathology report and pathology report what will it tell us? So, it tells us 1 whether there is production inside the testis or not, 2 if production is not there, why it is not there? Can we give some hormonal injections and can we increase the production so that we can get some sperms for IVF procedure? And if there are sperms inside the testis, whether they are the quality of the sperm is okay for IVF procedure and if there are immature forms, at what level there is immaturity, whether we can treat them or not, all these issues we will know in this biopsy report. So now, what is micro TSA procedure? People ask me, doctor, what is micro TSA procedure? Micro TSA is like open surgical procedure, there are no sperms in the TISA, then we do micro TSA procedure where we completely open the testis, then you have to uh, take a uh, very high power microscope, surgical microscope and you have to under the microscope, you have to search for the healthy tissue inside the testis. This is a time taking procedure, it may take 1 to 2 hours because you have to uh, search the testis for healthy tissue, layer by layer you have to search and both the testes we have to do at the same time. By the time we complete this surgery, it may take one and half to two hours. And the yield of sperm retrieval is totally different from TISA and micro TSA because micro TSA is more advanced procedure, but slightly it is like a surgery. But TISA is a needle aspiration, which is very simple. For people with uh, obstructive azospermia, most of the times we get tissue uh, sperms with the TISA procedure. After TISA immediately a person can walk, uh, walk back because there is no cut, there is no uh, injury to the testis, it is only like uh, how we take the blood from the veins, it is only a needle procedure. I will try to post all these videos 
regarding TSA because so many patients who are preparing for surgery that means if when a doctor says you have a procedure called TSA generally they are looking at some uh, old procedures which are done which are which are done with very big needles and by the time they come for the surgery they are worried. So now what we will do is we will post all the videos which are videos of TSA, uh, TSA, PISA, MISA, micro TSA, FNA mapping all these videos and we will also post videos about what is done once we take the testicular tissue what is done in the embryology lab. So, how they tease the tissue, how a sperm is sperm looks under the microscope, how this sperm is prepared for my, uh, IVF procedure, all those videos uh, can get at least 15 to 20 videos. I will will try to do all those videos, give us some time probably by this month end we will finish all those uh, videos. Keep watching viewers, please subscribe to our channel, thanks for watching.